Hi there. Today I'm back uh, printing some cards in my studio and these cards are a two color card that are done as a mono print base using a blue ink and um, basically mono printing is you cover the the base art that's just flat with uh, ink and then do some brushwork into the ink and then print the card so you'll see that I've got a couple of different uh, designs this one's kind of got the northern lights appearing in it um, I have one that's kind of geometrically laid down so it gives kind of neat patterns and then I have one that's an ode to Vincent van Gogh with the starry night swirly stars in the sky and so each of these cards will be printed uh, have been drying for a couple of days and they'll get printed a second time with uh, my mountain block which is this one here that I've carved already at the outline of the mountains. I call this card Midnight Mountains and I'm just gonna print a couple more of these to show you my process. I pull down the black ink with my tiny little roller because my block in this case, the uh, mountains, is not very big. So I don't need a really huge roller. I do have larger rollers when I'm making big fine art prints. But in this case, I just need a little tiny roller get a nice even coverage of the black on top of the block and then line it up by sight. In this case it's a process where I actually do this by hand um, when I am printing multiple colored fine art prints I'll actually use a jig and I won't leave it to chance to make sure I get the registration dead on. But these are cards and they look sort of hand printed um, so I like that look on them. I pull the block off really quick so it doesn't smudge. And you can see that's what it, it comes up looking like. So I'll do a couple more just to show you that those will hang up to dry for several days. This is probably, uh, these cards have been drying for about three days already. I want them really nice and dry on the first layer so that when I go and print over top of it, the two colors don't mix but they lay over top of one another so this is just another application of the black and I'll do this over and over and this is how I print all my cards ink get a card pull it down lay the block on the ink line it up on the paper so it looks square and press in the back very gently. I don't want to move the block or that will smudge the image. But I'll for that quickly. Again, there's the uh, second card in the series. And I'll hang those up after on my clothesline because they'll sit up there for two or three days before they're really dry. Sometimes even let them dry up to about five or five days or a week just to make sure that I have them nice and and dry by the time I'm packaging them in the acid-free plastic that I use to package my cards. All the cards are hand printed in this very same manner. It's time consuming, but it's really fun. So here's the, the next layer of the block going on this card. I wanna maybe move this one up a little bit, a bit higher. and then pull it off. There we go. There. And again. Midnight Mountains.